Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're here at the Trafford Centre in Manchester. What are we here for, Charlotte? We're here to check out Spook Fair. Yeah, it's been running throughout the October half term and we're here for the last couple of days of it. We thought we'd come shopping, so we may as well check it out we and film a well. vlog. And also, they do something similar at Christmas, in summer, outside the Orient Food Courts here at the Trafford Centre. We've covered some of their events before and they're really good. Yeah, we've really enjoyed them before. Yeah, so there's a selection of rides and the circus as well and in terms of our mission i mean it's obviously coming towards the end of the event by the time this is on but it's always similar um if you come down to any of their events here isn't it it is indeed so you can book it online it's two pound 80 that's including the booking fee and you can book it on the day but i'm not 100 percent sure how much it is on the day yes yeah, so that's to get into the rides area and then you pay per ride however if you go and watch the circus after the show they let you straight into the ride area so you get to see the awesome gandhi circus and then be able to go into the ride area and then of course you can just pay per ride so there. bear that in mind yeah because I'm not a big fan of just paying for admission no. to just go into the fun fair. Uh, I think when it's a smaller fair like this, really, it should just be free and then they let you be, in yeah. and then you pay per ride. But uh, still, it's worth watching the circus because we always really enjoy it. And normally we can film it as well. So, of course, I'll have some highlights coming up for you over the next few minutes. Well, it's very busy here at the Trafford Centre in Manchester. But yeah, there's thousands of free car parking spaces here. You might be best though if you come in later on to these events, parking a little bit further away from the Orient. That's the big food court. And you've got all the restaurants, cinema in there, uh, loads of places to eat and shop, of course, as well in the main centre itself. So yeah, a lot of people like to park here, but there's loads of free parking spaces um, all around the outskirts of the centre. But yeah, there's the entrance to the food court, the big building you can see. And yeah, there's the Fun Fest, Spook Fest. They are going to be doing a Christmas version as well that will be starting in a few weeks. And last year we came to see Snowstorm, which was the ice show and so circus. Good. We loved it, didn't oh, we? we really enjoyed it. So we'll definitely be coming back to watch it this year. Yeah, that starts the end of November and runs, runs through to January. January. Yeah. So yeah, we've got loads of time for that. Got the big wheel down here as well. Yeah, one of the UK's largest traveling wheels down here. And you do get a fantastic view looking over Trafford Centre and it's all lit up at night as well. So yeah, the wheel, you've got the carousel that's always here as well. Uh, that's not just for the event. And yeah, a couple of other bits that are outside of that paid area. Um, but like I say, you know, you need to pay to go into that ride area normally, um, just around here, unless you are watching the circus. Well, yeah, let's go and have a look. Yeah, it's always nice here at Trafford though. Really nice building. A little bit of footage there of the carousels. Yeah, like I say, that's here all the time at Trafford Centre. And yeah, you cross the road just here and over into Spookfest. But yeah, we've got a few different rides here. There's a Miami, we can just see there on the right. There's the big top for Gandhi's Circus. The slingshot, you've got the spinning coaster over there. Rock Rage, Terror Towers just over there, which is the ghost train. Starflyer here as well. And yeah, they always change the ride lineup depending on the time of year as well. Yeah, it just works having rides here at the Trafford Centre. Obviously, this was just car park out here before. And yeah, you can just walk straight out of the food court, cross the road and into the event. I still do feel like they get more people just strolling in if you didn't have to pay to actually go in. But yeah, it does seem like it's cheaper online as well, so I definitely recommend that. Yeah, so that's the entrance just over to the left there. You've got the big witch spinning round us up there with the pumpkins on, that's really cool. So this is where you queue up to get into the event and you pay just over there at the booth. However, if you go into the circus first, then you head round to the right this way. Really nice with the pumpkins just there. Lovely evening for it as well. You wouldn't think it was uh, the end of October, like gorgeous night. It's nice and warm, to be honest. What's really weird is Cliffhanger, the Miami, isn't in the paid area. area. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. No, I still think for me, they just should open it all up now and then you get a lot more people that strolling in, you know. Saying that, there's plenty of people here tonight enjoying it. Magic Mouse just over there. And yeah, they give you a wristband basically once you've paid to go in. But we'll be checking out the ride area, doing a couple of rides, get on Rock Rage and a few other bits later on. Well, yeah, Gandhi Circus, absolutely brilliant. We really like their shows. Really yeah, so we're off to check that out. Yeah, it's always a, a great show. And like I say, you can normally film it as well. So we're just going to queue up now and we'll make our way into the big top shortly. And when we come out, we'll head around the ride area, show you what's here. Because like I say, this event finishes today, actually, the day that we're uploading the vlog. However, um, you know, they will be doing the Christmas version and probably a summer version down here again as well. 
It is look at the reverse bungee in action. <laughs> 15 pounds per person here, so quite expensive. But I bet you do get a great view from up at the top. We go there making our way now into the first tent that leads into the big top and the magic starts here yeah really looking forward to seeing this oh here we go then time to make our way into the big top past all the spooky theming for the gandhi's halloween spooktacular so it cost us 33 pounds for two tickets including the booking fee and with that as well you also get straight into the fun fair afterwards i don't think that's too bad to be honest yeah especially because gandhi's always put on a fantastic really show we've not seen one of their halloween ones before no, I don't see one. so we've got highlights coming up for you over the next few minutes but yeah we're sat here on the grandstand and we've got a pretty awesome view
is Halloween Spooktacular and they're always really good shows there. The production quality and the acts in there are always fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I think the music was great, like the acts was fantastic. Overall, really good family show. It was very spooky and yeah, some really good references to things like Squid Games in yeah. there. Game of Thrones. Yeah, it got a few bits like that in there. Yeah, it was great. I really enjoyed it. I thought some of my favourite acts in there were those right at the end. I thought they were brilliant. I like the Phantom of the Opera scene. That was great, yeah, because they actually had the chandelier, but that's what they were using um, for that act, which yeah, was really, really cool. Made it. Along with that, I thought the girls on the walls, they were really they good. Were good. Uh, I thought the whole show was fantastic. Obviously, you've got the clown as well in between the different scenes. Them scenes did go on for a little yeah, bit in between. Did drag on um, but you've got to think they've got to give the other guys a break exactly. and prepare for the next scene. But uh, over Overall, Gandhi's a brilliant show. We see a lot of their circuses, not just They're here brilliant. at Trafford, uh, but around the UK. They are really good. We've seen them at Butlins in the past and a few other places. They put on a great show. Yeah, they do. So I definitely recommend if you see Gandhi's out there, they are one of the best circuses, in my opinion, for the overall package. The really good lighting, lots of effects, great costumes. Overall, a fantastic performance. Really liked it. I know we've come outside now because, like we say, you come straight out in to Spook Fest just here. Oh, that screen's bright. <laughs> Let's have a look at the rides. Oh, we'll go on a couple of things as well. So you got quite a nice selection of family rides here, including the Magic Mouse roller coaster just over there at the back. Actually, the former Twister that used to be at Lightwater Valley theme park up in North Yorkshire. Yeah, that's down here. Some juvenile rides as well at Spook Fest. Really nice evening. Look at that sky behind the coaster. Little balloon ride just over there as well. You got the flying jumbos just there as well, aka Dumbo the flying elephant <laughs> just down here. Oh, we've got a nice spooky Halloween wreath on here. Yeah, Big B Events they're called, the company that run this. Yeah, they always do a really good job. We'll go and check out that spinning witch in just a moment as well down there. Yeah, the rides seem pretty busy. You've got a thing, yeah, there's maybe three, four hundred people in the circus. Yeah, exactly. So you've got all them coming out. Yeah, I think it works out better value seeing the circus than coming in. I still think paying, you know, nearly three pounds to come in, I think it will put some people off that. You know, instead of some people just going to the food court at Trafford Centre and think, oh, you know what, I will snip it and do a ride, we'll come over and not realise, you know, you have to pay to come in. But yeah, it's a really nice sound they've got down here. Like I say, it will be similar for Christmas. It's called Tinseltown, that event. But yeah, they do change the ride line up slightly for that one. Got an extreme just over here. Yeah, that's really busy. Don't normally have an extreme down here. It was uh, the pirate ship, Das von Schniff, that was here last time. <laughs> you got the runaway train that's been taken over by spiders just over there as well. Jumbo Circus. Yes, the tokens are one pound. Rides seem to vary between two and four tokens. So you can work out four pounds with some of the bigger rides. It's busy though, I mean, it is October hard term. Well, yeah, it's good to see. What's nice about this event as well is how they put all the nice flooring down on the car park just here. You wouldn't tell that it was a, a car park. The big top's lit up nicely. And yeah, the big wheel is all lit up in green for Halloween, which looks really spooky. Yeah, really nice. It is Halloween after all. You've got the ghost train just over there. Terror Towers. I feel like they've done some upgrades to that actually. With the clock just there in the middle. That looks cool. Werewolf in the window. <laughs> Next to the fire exit. Why is a big fire exit? Really impressive facade on there. It is. The ghosts and the really good with the screen up there. Starfly down here and Rock Rage as well. Yeah, here is the uh, witch spinning around at Spook Fest. This is a good piece of theming, yeah. You like that witch? Yeah, I like the witch at the top. Yeah, we'll attach you up there and just keep you spinning around yeah, all day. How about that? Halloween. Yeah, that's a free flight ride for you, that. That'd be really intense, that was. I tell you what, it's got a great atmosphere here tonight. Well, yeah, I've been saying for years that Trafford Centre needs more rides. I'm so glad that they've finally done it. That is a view and a half. Look at that. Really nice. The way swing off to the left. The pumpkin tree, as I'm going to call it. 
and the Ferris wheel lit up green. That is amazing. Yeah, I tell you what, like they're doing theming here better than Scarefest. Like this is the sort of thing that the bigger park should be doing. Like you know, Alton Towers and stuff. Like imagine this, like in Fountain Square at Alton Towers or something. There's a photo opportunity, but they just won't do it. But look at this, like really well done. This is, and you've got to think it draws people into the event. That's one of the best pieces of Halloween theming I've seen in the UK this year. I think we'll have to have a nice photo there. Yes. We'll, we'll get some tokens. You can go on a couple of rides. Not going to go on everything. But like I said, I'll take on the ghost train. Got to give Rock Rage a go. And yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, that looks amazing. atmosphere tonight here look at all the movement with all these rides it kind of feels a little bit like a mini winter wonderland here tonight i think because all the flooring's done as well really nicely yeah great atmosphere down here and talking of winter wonderland we'll be straight on to the christmas events in the next couple of weeks we've got loads planned obviously because of the house moving stuff we've been really busy we didn't get around to doing any halloween events in mainland europe this year we'll make up for it next year though yeah. well we're gonna make, really make up for it with christmas yeah, we've got lots coming up throughout November and December. Yeah, definitely. So we'll, uh, yeah, get on this spinning coaster. Yeah, four tokens per person to ride. We did last, this last time we are here, but obviously it's the biggest ride down here. We'll take you on with a nice POV. And from up here as well, with it being such a lovely evening, we had some nice views looking over the event and the Trafford Centre. That's the great thing about here. Trafford Centre itself is lit up really nice. You can see the dome just over there, all the blue and yellow lighting, which always looks fantastic. But uh, here we go. I dread to think how many times I've been on these over the years, these spinning coasters. But why not? Let's take you on for a POV. It is Halloween Spook Fest after all. Here we go. Oh, look at the view already. Yeah, four tokens, four pounds a ride per person. Big top looks good there as well. Look how well on the Magic Mouse. Yeah, like I say, this used to operate at Lightwater Valley. You right there, Charlotte? Yeah. Where were we sat in the best seats here, really? No, He no. was loading us up that it quick. Was a quick get <laughs> Should be a nice view going up the lift. Oh, look at that. Yeah, great to see Trafford Centre hosting events like this. On the car park. Woo! And yeah, we'll definitely come and check out Tinseltown. Extreme looks good from up here as well. Whee! <laughs> hey, happy Halloween, everybody. Woo! <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get on with the spinning. Normally you want to be all on the same side. Whoa! Oh, look at the main dome. <laughs> Woo, it's a fast one. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Blimey, this is really quick. Here we go. Whoa! We haven't got to worry about the spinning. Oh, you're right there, Charlotte. <laughs> it's a really good one. Oh! It's just worrying about the weight distribution. Whoa! <laughs> Charlotte's uh, hoodie there, well, jumper, matches the coaster. <laughs> Somebody told me off about that. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, it's so fast, that is. I'm sure I remember saying that last time now. Blimey! Spinning all the way to the end there. Oh, Magic Mouse, that was great, that was. Brilliant, what a great view as well. Oh, that was brilliant, what a cracking spinner. Oh my God, that spun so fast. That was a proper whippersnapper, that it one was. there. Yeah, really enjoyed that. There you go, there it is behind us. Yeah, that was great. I thought with us not being seated the best on oh, there. did really well. Yeah, I think so, yeah, one of the best out there. And like I say, it acts kind of as an observation ride at an event like this as well in such a gorgeous location. Looking over traffic centre, all the other rides. Yeah, I thought that was great. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Fantastic. Right, up next, it is Halloween after all. We're here at Spook Fest, not Scare Fest. Uh, we're going to go on the uh, ghost train just over here now and take you on. Tell you what, this event is making a fortune. Really good to see everybody out there having a good time. Yeah, look at the queue here for Terror Towers, the ghost train. All the way back here, I reckon it's going to be a good 20 minutes or so for this one. 
Yeah, quite a wave. It's got a great facade though. It really draws you in this one. Laser's looking good there on Rock Rage as well. Take you on there next for POV as well. trapped when they've been putting the ride in oh no i tell you what though only took about 15 minutes that day ready for a ride on terror towers just here let's go on oh there he is get to see the workings there and the clown <laughs> right we're off There's not a lot to see. <laughs> I've done this one before, and yeah, it really just drew you in at the front. Well, there's not a lot going on inside. Portraits that used to be a part of Jewel at Holton Towers will be still will be there or not after the refit. That made no sense. Will they still be there after the refit? We'll find out. Well, yeah, great event. Really busy out here. That's a fantastic view. For that doesn't it and don't get me wrong there is some good bits in there especially on the lift hill up and also on the ground level where yeah, that middle scene corridor definitely needs some work but uh, here we go going on one more ride out here tonight and going on rock ray it's always a pleasure to see this ride it's been coming to this event now over the past couple of years and yeah i really like rock ray you coming on it's not for me. are you sure you don't fancy I'm it sure. oh you've never done it before well i'll go and jump on I'll, yeah, I'll take you on with a nice POV. There we go then, ready for takeoff on Rock Rage. Four pounds to ride, four tokens. Yeah, the rides are reasonably priced down here. The ghost train was three. That was the spinning coaster, that was four. Magic Mouse. Wee, that's Charlotte on the bench. Oh, the very spooky Halloween pumpkin. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, yes. Through the smoke. With an epic view. Woo. And then we're going to be in for a shorter but faster cycle tonight. With it being quite busy. Only waiting about five minutes though. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I love the addition of the laser on here as well. Just fantastic to see. We go through this ride, we go 360 degrees all the way over. Just building up that momentum now. 
what a vibe tonight. Here in Manchester. Here we go, building on some power now. Woo! Big cue for that ghost train, I know that. Woo! Oh! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Just hanging in there. Whoa! Some really good forces on this, viewers. Look at the domes of traffic. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Fantastic. Oh. Woo! Oh, yes. Woo! And there we go. Yeah, not the longest aside, because, like I say, it is busy. Get a bit of rocking out now. Hey! <laughs> Rock your buddy! Hey! Oh. Brilliant! I'm ready for some food now! Oh. Well, that's the beauty of Trafford Centre, you got the Orient Food Court with loads of food in there! Oh. <laughs> so we got some good power! You know what, considering it's busy, that was quite a good cycle that! Two and a half minutes, I'll take that! Rock Rage! Well, there we go, some on ride footage from Rock Rage. And yeah, just thought I'd show you the big gorilla just over there as well, off to the right. The pumpkin tower, you got these other little photo ops as well. And yeah, just gives you a bit of an idea. Maybe you're watching this next year, because I'm sure this event will be back for 2023. But yeah, the dates were quite short for Spoo Fest. It was only on for a couple of weeks. However, you know what? Great event, really enjoyed it here tonight. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too. I love the circus. Yeah, the circus was great. And we'll be back as well for Tinseltown and seeing the show which is called Snowstorm 2 which we're going to be watching. I like these uh, spiders just here as well. So well, there you go, into the Trafford Centre now, do a bit more shopping. That's the beauty of it though, great location. I still think it would be better without paying the admission fee to come in. However, if you've seen the circus, then that isn't an issue. And to be honest, it doesn't seem to be an issue tonight. They are queuing up to get in. Look at this. Like, why not? You know, people are willing to pay the three pounds to go in, which is only a low price. Then I guess, yeah, they're going to keep that. Yeah, look at that. Drawing people in still. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of our evening here at Spook Fest at the Trafford Centre. I've really enjoyed this evening. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, the circus is always great. Like we said earlier, Gandhi's shows are brilliant. The overall production quality is fantastic. And uh, yeah, tell you what, just noticed. Look at my hair. It's gone really long. It's hard, tonight. Yeah. I ride on rock rays there. It's just gone. Uh, yeah, I need to cut this week. I uh, just literally was watching this on the screen thinking, yeah, it's getting a bit long. Uh, but I really enjoyed it down here. Great event. Uh, fantastic selection of rides as well. And people seem to be having a good time. Fantastic it's location as well. It is, yeah. You know, that's the thing, you know, we're here in Manchester. Trafford Centre is one of the busiest shopping centres in the whole country. And to have something like this here, on top of the other attractions they've got, bear in mind you've got the Sea Life, Legoland Discovery Centre. There's supposed to be a big water park opening here very soon. Uh, but they still haven't started work on that yet. But still, there's developments happening here. And this is great. It really is good. It's better yeah. than a car park, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we've got one more Halloween vlog left to come on the channel. Where are we going tomorrow? Rock Blackpool Pleasure. Beach. We are, and it's Vampire Beach as well, so we're looking forward to it. Fireworks, 9 o'clock close. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some spooky goings on as well, and we're looking forward to sharing that and wrapping up our Halloween content here on the channel. But from Spook Fest, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in Blackpool.